Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. It's Friday, end of the week. Yay! Candace, it's not, there is no, I, I am so. I guess Saturday's the end of our week, huh? It's not. It's, there's never an end to it. <laughs> I'm so, I need a day off. You're about, you're going to get some soon, I think. Uh, okay. I need it. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Uh, there is no such thing as a Friday or a Saturday or a Sunday or even a Monday or any Lately, day. Lately, it's not. We have not. Had... Every day is the same. Yeah. Well, no. Sundays are not. Last Sunday, we did take the day off. Yeah, I don't needed it. I need some well, more. Well, at least of this. for our, well, we did go to our storage unit. I think. I probably edited a video too. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't really have a day no, off. No, we never do. We just didn't list or buy stuff, but we did do some work. <sighs> I think we both need a vacation. We're getting burnt out. I'm tired. Yeah, I can tell. I forget. Yeah, usually I'm hard charger, like let's go, 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 and now I'm like, it's just like I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with it all. Yeah. No, not not. I'm not really not done with it all. Actually, um, I feel like this hardcore buying we've been doing, and we've been listing hard as hard as we can. Um, I feel like it's got things jump started and moving in the right direction yeah and it has our mindset right mm -hmm. however it was like exhausting it's been exhausting yeah trying to get there but I, I feel like i feel like we're in a good spot we just need to dial it back a little well, bit we're in the home stretch i think we need to, you know what i mean you know what i mean like yeah just not go 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 all the time I, I feel like we were kind of in the doldrums as far as ebay goes and everything and we we're like screw this we need to get something going and we just started hitting it hard yeah and we're still doing it, but like we're starting to see that momentum build, sales happen. Yeah. It, it feels pretty good. Like I've been pretty happy with our results. Yeah, we, we went to some sales this morning. Um, it's like afternoon now. We went and we, we decided to relax and go sit down and have a decent lunch and just, yep. just relax a little before we came back in here. Yeah. So we go. Uh, we we go too hard sometimes and i know it, it probably you're probably not thinking uh it probably doesn't look like it because we don't put everything on video but it's i mean it's there's a lot of work involved in here yeah i just get tired Lonnie rarely puts in less than 12 hour days i would yeah during the week during the week on the weekends, on the weekends maybe more like eight <laughs> nah that's not true on the weekends on a sunday i might work two or three hours yeah and that's it i'm counting garage sales too though I'm, yeah you on sat saturdays oh i do too yeah it's a lot of work yeah well we do have a viewer question that i thought was interesting yeah this is from fern schaefer bailey is that your entire inventory what we see in the back of the shed i'm assuming that it is air conditioned because i know it is pretty humid in your area what made you decide to inventory your things that way instead of using boxes or bins all right so this first, is our listed inventory for, uh sort of first of all this is a horrible question for us to field because look at the state of the shed i know we have stuff it, the shed never looks awesome right but, but during garage sale season it's, oh it, it's, it's in constant chaos well we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do like an intervention on ourselves in here well see that's the whole thing we're always wanting to go 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 and we don't want to take the time to slow down and we have to take care of things right we're like, okay, we, we went to garage sales. Now we got a list, list, list. It feels like there's always, like, I don't know. I Y'all caught me on a bad day here, okay? <laughs> it just feels like I always got 20 different things I got to do at once. Yeah, I, I'm just having a day. I'm just having a little a day here. That's just all. Just being a little grumpy bear. I'm just having a day. You don't ever have days, man? All the time. <laughs> I mean, I'm used, most of the time I am upbeat, positive. I'm still, I'm upbeat and positive now. I'm just feel... I feel like I'm go, going too hard. Yeah, yeah. worn out a little worn bit. Yeah, need need a little relaxation here. So I'm gonna give my thoughts on the sheds setup, and then we're gonna hear Lonnie's because this was his before I came in. Yeah. And these are my observations. Yes, we do have an air condition. Um, mm -hmm. You can probably hear it every time Lonnie's pulling orders. Like, yeah. Let's walk back there, and you can hear. Especially when I go back there. It gets even louder if it's like hot outside because then it will turn on the uh, booster right. fan. Yep. So, um, the reason we don't have stuff in bins for the most part. Now, you know, we do keep like hat, like hat boxes and stuff or sometimes I'll have. Or little sub containers. Yeah. 
but for the most part when it comes to pulling orders it's easier to see what you're looking for now i realize if you had a bin that you would know which where exactly to go but you're still having to dig into a bin you, you, i'm sorry go ahead <laughs> I'm, see i always do that i'm not gonna do it sorry the other thing i like about having our stuff open is we're not perfect and when we forget to put item locations or uh, put a wrong location it's much easier to find huge. that missing object that is so big yes that is so big i don't know what we would well i know what we'd do we have to go Through, is yeah, it in there is it in there is yeah. it in there is it in there exactly and the way it's set up now nine times out of you ten can walk by and see yeah right you can just scan the shelves okay it's not there let me get you or, or like usually usually whenever there's something going on where we can't find something like right away or, or we don't have an item location typically i'll walk down one aisle candace will walk down the other and within 30 seconds got it yeah yeah that's usually how it works yeah. so that is that is a huge part of that because you know what we everyone makes mistakes i don't care who you are you make mistakes on your uh inventory locations yeah so and th this first shelf here i gotta jump skip back oh like, man i don't want to talk about that shelf. that's unlisted uh, everything else is listed that's on shelves yeah um what we've been doing lately and i really like this like we're keeping stuff in our storage unit which you saw in yesterday's video right mm -hmm. um and we'll just we'll, we'll grab a box and bring it we don't dig and see oh is there good stuff in here we grab a box and we're going to start dealing with everything in that box as, as a matter of fact bad. as a matter of fact you know what we need to do box that stuff up box that stuff up or get the stuff that we know we don't want to list mm -hmm. and give it away yeah and box the rest of it up clear off that shelf yeah and make it an inventory location and just give up on this unlisted shelf idea yeah because because we're not good we're not we good know, at it we know what we do and probably a lot of people do we, we go we walk up to the shelf oh i'm not feeling like a lot of work today what's the easiest thing i can list or what's the best thing on here you know right so um that's why stuff gets just left on that shelf yeah i agree i agree and i, I i've tried to clear it off and reset like five times in the and past it ends up just like and it, it does and i do the same thing because yeah. it's just that's just how we are or how i am or how you are whatever right, right so yeah i think that's a good idea and you know what we have over 1900 items in our ebay store Active, listings yeah. not items we have more than that items but right. we have List that many listings yeah and our it we're if we keep buying and we keep listing like we have been we're gonna need that location anyway well we, he talked about that this morning before we head out um anything big we need to be really picky about because we really don't have right anywhere to put it right now so yeah i like that idea of making this just another inventory location right i want to get back to that to the question about the bend well yeah. first of all the okay i'm done with my are, part. are you Yes. Well, you don't. Your... You don't have to be done. No, you can... I'm done. I really just had two things. You can interrupt me if you think of something else. I would never interrupt you. Oh no, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, it, we do keep it air conditioned, and it is hot and humid here in the south. But we keep this air conditioned pretty much all the time. If it's if it's mild outside at night, like if it's going to get down to 70 or so, or 75 ish, or something like that at night a lot of times we will just cut it off at night but this thing is insulated pretty well you can't tell like behind these walls well you can tell actually well i know but also it's also it's not just up there right behind these walls is the same really thick insulation it holds the temperature it holds really the temperature good. and it holds the humidity or lack of thereof pretty well too it's yeah. not bad so actually i candace you've been working here over two years now I, I don't feel like there's a moisture problem in the shed at all. Oh no, that's not all. an issue at all. Like not, it's no. it's good in here. Like yeah. we we have never had any kind of um no we've we've not had any problems with any kind of like weather yeah, related even things. Even like when we've gone maybe like on vacation for a week and not been like in and out running. I, I use I no but when we leave I'll usually put the, the I'll, energy saver. I'll put it on energy saver mode on like. Mm -hmm maybe like 75 degrees just so it doesn't get too hot in here right. 
you know, or maybe 76 degrees and but, it just you know, cycles. That keeps it, like the humidity manageable, you know, it's right. not bad at all. But no, uh, here in the South, if you do keep your stuff in like a, a non-climate controlled shed with no, no air condition, no heat, no nothing, it's going to get it's gonna get nasty yeah your rubber stuff's gonna break down and get sticky everything's gonna get wet and some of your metals may even rust it gets that humid here yeah here it gets so it's it's a good question yeah. now about the bends though the pluses for the bends you said some of the minuses pluses for the bends your stuff doesn't get dusty right because it's protected from right. stuff falling out um, another thing you know what one of the bigger pluses is I, I mean, I think one of the pluses is it just looks neat. Exactly. And it's, it's more pleasing. Cosmetically, it's more pleasing to the eye. And in my opinion, that should not matter. Right. Not, 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 for, not for being efficient, you know. Right. Uh, running your eBay business. Right. Now, another drawback, though, is that whenever you go to, like, list something, you have all kinds of different sizes and shapes of things. And how do you know where to put something right like like whenever I, whenever we're in here listing I'll, I'll just like glance at a shelf i'm like oh yeah i got a little nook or cranny over there i've got this big old thing well let me see which bin has let me go open it. it up yeah yeah so yeah it's just more efficient for us it works for us yeah it you does know? now you some sellers just sell only like jewelry or clothing so that system may work better for them well clothing i could see it make more sense because clothing you really want to keep it you don't want dust and things like that falling on right. or like keeping clothing covered mm -hmm. which if you notice like the clothing we do list we we do typically bag it up and it's in a bin yeah. and it's it's in a bin in a bag yeah but uh yeah i don't have an you know i don't have any problem with somebody using bins it's just and, not uh, pressed. no it's not although i could see and another thing i always think of when whenever and i see this a lot like other youtubers I'm, I'm not pointing anyone out i'm not like trying to diss anybody or anything i swear this applies to a lot of them but i see them like they pull their bin out and i'm like every time you move that bin everything's jostling around yeah. and hitting other stuff right so i think i just feel like you can't ever place like on the shelves we can set something down and we know it's not well this man this looks like garbage it does not look good it doesn't look good i know it doesn't but it's i think it's more efficient this way it is it doesn't look good though but like you could never just set this thing down which is very heavy right if you put this and bin. this in the same bin right this would destroy this yeah how do they put like how does it work for Let's get away from the air conditioning. Okay. How does it work for breakables and bins? Do they bubble wrap them before they put I them in? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. And then it also, it takes, like, you got to pull it out and then yeah. p open it up. And then, you, I don't know, man. I, to, in my opinion, this is best for us. This yeah. is what we like. I like it. But, uh, yeah, that was uh, a whole bunch of talk about putting stuff in a tub. Use bins. <laughs> That's right. Well, um, we do have some orders that we pulled <laughs> we pulled them last night we're doing some crazy time yeah, warp we're, stuff we're rearranging the video so yeah we we pulled the orders last night so we're gonna go ahead and show you all that footage now and then after that we'll take a look at the stuff we picked up this morning all right y'all time warp to night before because we had to pull some orders yeah so we could so. go garage selling them the clip before we will have known how that went but now we do not so we're going to pull the orders okay let me let me lay it all out for mm -hmm. you we have like 19 sales to go to in the morning so we knew we had to well, well after i started doing the route we figured out okay we better pack orders tonight so we're gonna pack orders and then the footage you just saw happened after this <laughs> let's just pull some orders okay <laughs> we can't explain this all right <laughs> first item is claudine wolf on four echo four echo and yeah it is um it's like i don't know it, it was it 10 40 at night yeah, it's like, oh my god it's 11 o'clock i'm tired i haven't stopped all day Why don't you go to that side? i don't know <laughs> i haven't stopped moving all day i mean seriously i stopped i stopped like 15 minutes for lunch I stopped 20 minutes for dinner. 
I did cut grass for a few hours. She's a basketball player? Yes. Okay. Sold for $12. Okay. All right. Pocket 34, Bandai Digimon, $33.74. Pocket 34. Oh, yeah. Man, these are one of the best buys we ever made, huh? Yeah. Digimon, how much you sell for? $33.74. Nice. All right, we sold Draculaura for Delta. Okay. Draculaura A. For Delta Draculaura A. She's the only one in there, which means we need, actually, I guess tomorrow or sometime, and it doesn't have to be tomorrow. We got. I think I do need to get some listed for the weekend tomorrow. I think so too. Yeah. We man, we've we were talking about earlier. We were at storage today. We have sold this this is probably I think this is like the twenty first or second. Yeah. Draculaura we've sold. Right. <laughs> she sold for thirty. Okay. Alright, you sold a pair of Wrangler FR jeans. Oh yeah. So now from our Wrangler buy the other day. We bought five pair for 30 and now we've sold three. $80 worth? We've sold, th yeah, no, eight, we've sold 85 worth. 85? 30, 30, 25 now. Yep, those yeah. sold for 30. Those are new with tags. Okay. Right, we sold some baseball catchers, guard, knee guards. Okay, let me bring my. Uh, it's knee A. It's A, huh? All right. This stuff is actually doing a little better than we expected. Knee A. That is, it says knee A. So yeah, that's it. Oh, and I think we determined before, when we were, when you were listing these, I think we determined that. Um, they're youth size. Yeah, so they're not longer than 22 inches. Right. So they're not a, uh, you don't have that USPS surcharge on those. Those sold for $20. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. All right. Black NBC binder. You sold your TI poster. Yes. That's the one where you you were the model. You modeled that for us. My, my hands were the model. Well, I mean, you were there too. We just couldn't see you. On the, <laughs> we just could insurance policy on my hands. Oh, like George. <laughs> All right, yeah, that was a uh, that was a little bonus find we had in a box of calculator stuff, huh? Yeah, that's all for twenty five. Yeah, that was good. To Charlie Apple Airport time capsule. Yeah, I I had a decision to make on this to either sell it as is, untested, and it truly is untested. The only, I did plug it in, make sure I saw a power light, and that's it. Yeah. And my other option was to figure out how to use I've never actually used one of these things before. Test it if I could, and then maybe sell it for, you know, probably sell it for 70 80 maybe at that point. But I was like, you know what? I don't want to do that, so I didn't do that. So it probably works fine. So you sold it for 30 Yeah, 30 uh plus ship. Six Bravo BattleTech Crescent Hawks Inception Infocom Commodore 64 Missy Manual. That's a mouthful. <laughs> you say that again. <laughs> uh, six Bravo, eh? Oh, yeah, I put it right here on the. It's like a book. Yeah. This had a cool. Uh, they have a. No. Uh, oh, yeah, it had a poster in it. That's what it had. Okay, cool. That's everything that's going to get packed up tonight. Yeah, we have another. We have actually we have a, a UPSer and a Mercari that can go out tomorrow. Yes. Or actually probably go out Saturday, but um, yeah. Actually, no. The UPS will go out tomorrow. Yeah, we'll, the we'll pack that up when we get back from sales, and one of us will run it over to UPS. Yeah, we'll show it to y'all, and well, it'll just be probably a second your time. All right. <laughs> Let's not let's not talk about time travel again. Maybe unless we do the haul first. Who knows? I don't know. I don't so know. Confused. Where uh, are we? What is what day is it? All right, we do have uh, one Macari order to get out. 
Yep. So, and um, we don't have a custom skew on there, so. Oh, like, yeah. You got to go cross reference with List Perfectly. Yeah. So we don't even know because we don't even know which uh, where the location is. So Candace is just looking it up and List Perfectly, which works. Number seventeen. Seventeen, because now she can also mark it sold yep. while she's there, because that did sell on. Mercari. Yep. And Mercari, I mean, what is that, our 10th sale on Mercari now? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. And mostly Monster High Dolls and some action figures. And and then I think this is the first Walmart pin we've sold there, right? Yeah, because we've sold some on Etsy, but not on there. Yeah. So, I mean, I wasn't expecting it to go nuts overnight or, you know, I've been trying to list on there as much as possible. Could probably do a little better job. But what does he look like? It's a flag, Puerto Rican flag. Oh, it's a flag. Yeah. You know what? It might be in the next one. It probably is because there's 18. Well, this is great for great for the viewers here. Let's see where we don't have it. It's the very last one. No, there's one more in there. Okay. Uh, you can't say that though, because you know what they'll tell you. No, because that's like that I section. Understand. So that literally would have been... No, I've said that before, and they said, well, of course it's the last one you looked at, because once you find it, no, you stop not, looking. I didn't say the last one you looked at, I meant the last one in that one. I understand section. that. I'm just telling you Don't how it goes. words in my mouth, sir. I understand. That. I'm just saying that I understand what you're saying, but you're still going to get that comment, because... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my list perfectly, my listings are all ended while we were talking. All of them? What yeah. do you mean? You ended all... Oh, just that one. Ended? okay ended Done. all right good Done. and we have one more big one more big thing to pull so the uh, walmart pen we did have listed for 20 and last night i got an offer for um 16 and i went ahead and took it yeah and that those uh all the walmart pens we are doing macari shit labels on it now yeah instead of the sh including the shipping and printing our own right we're using macari labels and a lot of y'all may, may know if you sell a macari what i have to do then is i download the label and then i'd have to turn it a couple of times and then i blow it up big and then i do a screenshot where i draw around it and then i open the screenshot <laughs> and then i hit print and it send it to the dymo and it prints fine it takes an extra 10 seconds over printing like an ebay label right. it, i mean it's not you know it kind of sucks a little bit it's not really that big of a deal if we were huge sellers on macari like i don't think there are way. any huge sellers on macari okay. well. <laughs> <laughs> all right so the next item we have going out is a, a, a guitar hero guitar for the week <laughs> it's up there you want me to get it for you yeah. Here, give me a boost. <laughs> <laughs> the hell in the movies? Are... <laughs> yeah. That, uh, in the movies, I mean, <laughs> you can people do that in real life, you know. <laughs> not us. Boost or not? <laughs> well, yeah, that would be if you see me. If you see Candace giving me a boost, or that, if you see me on Lonnie's shoulders, <laughs> that, you know that's you know that's CGI. If any of that kind of. <laughs> can you imagine me on your shoulders getting stuff out of the rafters? No, I can't. <laughs> But yeah, we sold this guy. Sold for uh, 60 plus shipping on top. That was a good one. We just bought this last weekend in Abita Springs uh, yeah. for $5. Yeah. And sold it within a few days. Yep. So it wasn't new, but excellent condition. Yeah, and that's and I, everything we have that's going out today. Yep. I had to actually go up there twice. Actually, I've been up to that spot three times the past couple of days. Because I listed this thing. And then I'm like, all right, I'll make it up. And I'm like, okay, I'll just put it right there. And I put my step stool away, caring about my business. And I came over here. I'm like, what's this? And it was the freaking strap for this. Uh, so I had to go back up. And I'm like, if I put it off. Plus, you shipped a poster like two days ago. You had to get up there for that too. Oh, forget, yeah, I'm always going up there. Yeah. Hey, it's better. We got to. We should build a staircase. And where the staircase would take up room too. We could do like a spiral one right here. <laughs> what you think? No. <laughs> okay. Candace always has these ideas. She loves telling me no. I know. I just no. That's a bad idea. We can't <laughs> fit a we can't fit a staircase in here. 
Yeah, you're right. Okay, so that's everything we have going out that needs to be shipped today. And, yep. Um, give us just a minute and we'll show you what we picked up this morning. They don't have to give us a minute. It'll be... Give us a second. <laughs> We mentioned uh, not too long ago that we were going to be trying to do some more clothing um, than we have been. Like, we just don't know exactly what to get. So what we've done is we're, we are looking at more clothing, but we're trying to be like super, super picky. We only want to get the best of the best that, that we see, within reason, of course. So uh, what do you think about that, Candace? <laughs> I think it's a great idea. We, yeah. <laughs> And watch this. It's reversible. reversible. That's cool. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That is just, I, I don't see how, how do we not buy that? It's got some flaws, but how do we not buy that? Look at it. I know. Look, it's got the tiger on both sides. And on the chest patch too. Look, look at that. Would you just look at it? I know. Oh, that's all you can and do. And that's what we paid, $5. I mean, that's... It would have been a steal at 50. Yep. Well, maybe not. But. So speaking of steal, since Dave Navarro stole my Crown Royal robe idea. Let's see you now, uh, Dave. Dave. Dave won't wear that. <laughs> Who, what'd you say? Dave, Who? Dave Navarro. No. Who was it? No, Dave Grohl. Oh. Totally sorry. different. Dave Navarro was... He played for who? He played with a bunch of people, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Did okay, I thought it was Dave Navarro. That's what I when I read the comment. That's what I thought. No, was. no, 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 no. Dave Grohl. <laughs> well, you don't even know who to be mad at. <laughs> but yeah, would y'all about that? It's very nice. It feels nice, doesn't it? It's very silky and satin. Yeah, it does. And if we can't sell it, I'll just have to keep it. Okay, you can wear it around the shed. Oh, It'd be your listing robe. Yeah, when I get chilly, I'll just put my tiger robe on. <laughs> All right, so um, let's see. What is this gadget here? I don't know, but you, you handed it to me. I'm like, eh, that's not really. And you said it, but it's sealed. No, I didn't. I said, said it's Lonnie, it's sealed. I did not. I said it's genuine Apple product. And then and then you said it's no, sealed. No, you heard. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Lonnie paid 50 cents for this. Oh, no. I don't have to own that bad buy. I handed it to you and walked off. And you're like, yep, it's not sealed, y'all. No, it's not. No. I don't even know. It, anyway. It's, a, it's an iPod camera connector for a 30 pin it's a 30 pin thing okay. it, nobody wants that okay. we paid 50 cents um this is a high gain wireless dual band usb adapter <laughs> thanks candace that's <laughs> a wi-fi adapter for like things that don't have wi-fi built in there you go and that is new sealed what'd you pay for that uh two dollars all right, this is a little computer Lonnie spotted. Yeah, I paid. One of the last sales of the day. Yeah, it was this sale right here. And look, check it out. It's so small and cool. It's a Think Center, IBM Think Center. It's got, supposedly, it has um, four gigabytes of RAM. It's got a 500 gigabyte hard drive. It's got an i5 4570T processor, blah, blah, blah i5 processor so and it's got a windows 10 installed disk full version right here windows 10 pro and i do have the uh key over here on this side and all the stuff yeah we have the um the stuff this is the power supply most importantly but we do have some other cabling and whatnot yeah it has a vga cable that comes with it but it also has uh hdmi out on the thing too and I, I think this thing's probably worth 80 to 90 bucks somewhere you paid in there five, right i paid five for that yeah, yeah. all right we have a what we have a polaroid camera do you know how to open them i'm trying to remember yep that's it you got it yep. i'm always some of them are like kind of tough and i'm always scared i'm gonna break well it's them. harder to close them maybe that's what, yeah yeah just go ahead yeah you can Ooh. push them no they're made for that okay there's no there's nothing else to do dollar 50 for that yeah all right, you want to talk about this thing? Yeah, so this, it was funny. We bought this, and then right after that, went to another sale. The very last sale. Yeah, the last sale we went to, we bought this. Check this thing out. Look at this, y'all. Anybody ever seen this kind of thing before? This is another computer, even smaller. And I've heard of this computer before. It's an NVIDIA model P3450 and it's another computer it's very similar to like a raspberry pi 
but pro actually it's probably it's probably a little more powerful than a raspberry pi but uh yeah this is probably worth at least a hundred dollars or more it's probably actually it's probably worth more than a hundred dollars and he sold you the whole setup you got a keyboard a mouse yeah. yeah no i got everything with this and so yep. he had it for 40 but didn't he end up taking less yeah he, he sold this he sold everything in that bag to me for um for thirty dollars that's a wave share intel wave share card whatever that is, is that like a graphics card or something i don't know what it is it it it, it, it looks like it has some antenna type hmm. coax stuff going on there but yeah it came with look it came with the um the keyboard mouse some drumsticks some drumsticks or antenna as most people would know them as <laughs> a mouse i got the whole setup here yeah i'm kind of curious to see what how this runs and what it runs and this is some kind of something or another some bits yeah, this guy was like a uh, a tinkerer, big time. I yeah. bought a bunch of other stuff too for my personal use, which I'm not going to show. Yeah, look, this is some kind of like little uh, acrylic cut, laser cut acrylic kit of some sort. Yeah, similar. It might be the remnants of this even. Maybe so. Because that's an acrylic, you yeah. know, laser cut kit here as yeah. well. But yeah, paid thirty bucks for that. Looking forward to testing that. I've never. I've never played around with any of these NVIDIA single board computer things before. Right, so at the same sale as the computer, um, I got these Magellan women's winter boots. They're fur lined, um, paid $4. I think I can get probably 20 or 25 for them. Right on. Yep, I found those. I pointed those out to you. He did. I had looked in that area and I missed them somehow. Mm -hmm. I guess because usually uh, I don't look at the purses because you just I don't I can't spot fakes well enough you know without it being new with tag or whatever and the purses were up on the bench and these were sitting up by the purse purses and I'm used to shoes being like on the ground yeah so I just completely didn't even see them all right and check this out y'all first sale of the morning we're yeah. walking up a driveway and Candace goes Lonnie and she points so, yeah whenever I'm walking up to a garage sale I as I'm walking up I'm scanning the whole thing yeah it looks like a dance move you just did <laughs> is that a Travolta move or something? <laughs> so yeah, I'm scanning so I can I can kind of see where I want to go, and I spotted those. And Lonnie, Lonnie has a beeline for where the most stuff is, and these were kind of sitting off by themselves. He didn't even see them, and I could tell. So I'm like, Lonnie, and he's he's probably about 20 foot from me. He looks at me, and I'm like, <laughs> right? Yeah. And I went, I went, I walked over there. I barely even looked at them. I picked them up and I walked around with them the rest Those of the time. Those are some the biggest ones we ever had. Oh, they're huge. Yeah, these Extra I large. could. Yeah, and I think these might be adult size. They they look like it. Yeah, put or them on. Probably for a high schooler. Let's see if I can get my hat through it. Uh, <laughs> I look, shoulder pads are back in. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're modeling all kind of stuff today. That that is not becoming oh, okay but I'll no this the the condition of those yeah <laughs> hold my hat down okay i got it <laughs> y'all don't want to see my hair right now in the condition the condition of these is so awesome yep so um they were eight dollars yeah eight bucks i don't know what they're worth yeah but like even the logo has like one or two i know yeah. i know if somebody needed some would be no reason not to buy these i bet these this is i bet these are going to be close to a hundred dollars used all right i got two pair of chico well they're i don't know what this is nydj for chico's i know chico's is a good brand and they both have the tags and i saw the retail price was 120 so i figured i couldn't go wrong right yes candace that's right <laughs> yeah candace, yeah so i paid seven dollars a piece for them you paid seven yeah oh my god i didn't know you pay that much <laughs> no Man, no i'm good at this clothing thing huh <laughs> no you're not uh-uh i don't know you you had me at chico's is a good brand yeah i think you think uh, i don't know i i've seen i've looked up chico stuff before and it didn't perform well we did look up a few of these kind of They're pants about 30 bucks they might if, if they are 30 dollars but still seven dollars man yeah. if we get thirty dollars though that's a good deal i guess yeah yeah 
I wasn't I wasn't around when I was busy doing something Maybe else. Maybe I'll put these on Poshmark first and somebody can have a party with them. What is it? I don't know. We get all kind of alerts from Poshmark all the time. Jean party today. It's like join the blue jean party or something. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds horrible. Do we look like blue jean party kind of people. No. <laughs> all right, Lonnie spotted these. He's the boot boy today. Uh huh. Yeah. These are they're lacrosse. dirty they're they're big old dirty lacrosse boots yeah. but they're not they're not worn out they're just, just dirty they have like mud on them i just need to clean them up yeah it, but uh a lot a, a few years back i bought a bunch of uh some of y'all may remember we hit, something just fell <laughs> the ghost in the shed again <laughs> oh i think i know what it was yeah I, all right sorry model okay i was I brought in some more of this stuff. Okay. So it's, a, everything's few, fine. A few years ago, you what? A few years ago, I, I bought a bunch of um, new, like brand new or new old stock stuff. Uh, it was a crazy buy. It was a big buy. It was a bunch of hunting stuff and and uh this guy would like entertain clients or something by taking them hunting and he would provide them with the hunting gear. Right? Yeah, it was supposedly. I don't know. He yeah. had all this new stuff. Like like high end stuff like real high end like jackets and uh what is that brand of coat real high end brand i can't remember I like know. the hunters like no. anyways uh i recognized this brand from a previous buy i made lacrosse i knew it was pretty decent these are kids you see they or have a woman uh yeah a small footed woman small not, footed not woman. This woman that'd be a us4 uh, okay yeah well i mean it's only three and a half sizes above what i wear <laughs> <laughs> i mean below not above. <laughs> but i think they'll clean up and these are called scent dry water and scent proof yeah um they're really cool how how do we clean these I'm assuming they're like water resistant. So yeah, they might I'm be. I'm just going to take like a wet cloth probably to start out. Okay. Or, yeah, maybe um, not on the cloth areas, but maybe the suede in here. Use like a little brush. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what they're worth exactly, but we only paid $2 for them. Yep. Uh, by the way, we just looked those shoulder pads up. These. And uh, that's O-line, D-line here. What does that mean? offensive line or different the big the really big dudes up front in the middle you know oh, so like different positions have different type of shoulder pads yeah yeah okay. because These like a are the guys that are meant to be like oh yeah i mean they're cracking yeah they're, they're, they're you cracking know. skulls well they're yeah they're something. cracking shoulders <laughs> right trying to <laughs> but yeah these are like um the heavy duty but these are adult size yeah yeah and i think they're probably worth about 80 bucks or so yeah as they said all right we got a few cookbooks um check this one out it's really it's so unique it's called you ain't ready for it cookbook and it's a very looks like it was a very small run like there's not even any printing information on it but check out how he did it like everything is illustrated let me find hand drawn yeah well not in this book at least i don't think so no but you can tell like um yeah it's all There's, just original you can, you, art this is like his original handwriting stuff there's like lines you know that he drew to keep his mm -hmm. sentences straight and um they're really funny like look chicken dip there's a naked he chicken. makes little jokes during it and look yeah. he shows the ingredients yep isn't that awesome i think that is cool man this is good yeah <laughs> <laughs> That is pretty awesome. Um, and then we have two. Ooh, I might even give. I don't know. That might be a good gift for somebody. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Then we have two Episcopal Church women's cookbooks, casseroles, and salads. I think I've had this one before, and I ended up putting it in a lot. Uh, all these were fifty cents each. So what I'll probably do is just lot these two together for like ten bucks. And this one I don't know. We couldn't find it, of course. Um, there's there there's nothing out there. there's no proof this has ever existed yeah we're thinking maybe he did a small run and printed them for like christmas gifts or just to give family and friends right i don't i think it might have been a self-published oh look there can never be we hope to pray your new cookbook made in the usa to check out clerks okay 
no that's a fun book there and yeah. we even have a look avocado dip check it out look that was funny i was dipping his toe look. in the pool <laughs> <laughs> this has a lot of personality though it's yeah. cool i like that um so we have two cookbooks two, those, those are not cookbooks they kind of are if you think about it <laughs> uh depends on who you ask they have recipes in them yeah not for food um this are the expositors study bibles we have a leather bound and then a big um hardback one and I'll, yeah they were three dollars each they are both they're they are both jimmy swagger yes versions like this one even has a foreword from him i'm sure they both do i was just looking to see if swagger signed them oh yeah i didn't think about that no i don't see that in this one yeah unless somebody got mad at him and scratched it they out. might have you never know they might have so three dollars each for those and then the last thing is this um it's a vera bradley it still has the tags it's like a gym um duffel bag and i paid ten dollars for it what do you I, think it's worth i looked idea? real quick on ebay i went by this description ultimate sport bag and i couldn't find any i'm wondering if people are calling them something else like a gym probably bag. duffel bag gym or duffel bag yeah. yeah it's a really nice size it's got a lot of pockets and it's got the long handle and short. There's even a place to put like ID, you know. So yeah, that's everything we bought today. Yeah. What you think? I thought it was a little underwhelming day. Yeah, it was. We were out of pretty good while. There were, I mean, there are a few pretty good things. Um, the shoulder pads were good. I think the Nvidia computer is going to be really good. I think your bag here might be really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was. It was solid. Yeah. It was a nice for. for you know what? It was a fr for a Friday. It was great. Yeah. I'll put it that way. Yeah. If it, my days are off this week, I felt like yesterday was Friday. I felt like today was Saturday. I wish. But uh, yeah, yeah. Th this is not not bad for a Friday. I've had much worse Fridays than that. Oh yeah. So. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this one, y'all. I need a break. I'm gonna go take one. We yeah. are going to go gar go to garage sales tomorrow, and we are also going to go do our final buy of kevin and danielle mm -hmm. tomorrow tomorrow afternoon yeah so thanks so much for watching we will see you again very soon bye y'all bye